Hi there, this is Omega Supreme. I've got another Transformers toy, re toy review, sorry. <laughs> this is uh, one of the Transformers subscription um, figures from uh, the second the second one out of the series called, uh, uh, I thought it's Pistotron, but it's, uh, I don't know, quite know how to pronounce it pronounce it actually. Fistitron? I've always misread it and actually thought it said Fist Itron, but it doesn't. Uh, but there you go, you've got some nice artwork that comes with him. Um, you've got his technical data here. He's got intelligence and skill of 10 there. And then you've got a nice little uh, write-up on him as well. He's basically, um, oh, with the other thing I just could just show you is, is, um, is uh, he just comes in this little polisorium casing thing where you can pop him in there and he's got a gun goes in there and then you've got a little thing here which pops over. Uh, but the figure itself is um, yeah, from the subscription service from the Transformers Collectors Club. It's actually a, a retool of swindle or the uh, autobot roadbuster um he does have all the combining ports and things so if you wanted to use him with um ruination uh, you could do um so it's basically a remold but uh, slightly more detail so on the wheels here you've got this silver detailing here these uh, exhausts have been painted as well you've got these pink headlights at the front here as well and then all of this at the top here is all painted. It's got nice details. You've got a lovely Autobot symbol on the front there. And then these uh, green panelling pieces here and all these kind of blue bits running um, along here, which um, you do need to contrast with the colours because this is you know, quite a pale sort of colour. It's almost like a peach colour. I don't know. So I've got something on there. Almost like a peach colour. But um, not really much to say about the, the vehicle mode. You know, it's been done before with Swindle and a few others. You know, it fits in well with, you know, if you want to put it in with your Fall of Cybertron figures or your Generation figures, it comes with a little gun. So you can just pop that on there on the top if you like. Like so. I'll take it off. Transform him is nice and simple. Um, by the way, he rolls nice as well. He, the way I do it is I just unplug his arms from the side here. Like that, and start to. What I do then is unplug his legs. There you go. So, as you pull his legs down like that, this top bit will come out as well. His legs will unfold from here as well, like that. Unplug this like that, so you've got his, his legs separated. Pull his shoulders up, swivel this round like that, and then what you can do is you've got uh, these bits here, and actually plug into here. So you bring it down and around. Oh, at the same time, what I do at this point is I just push the head through like that, so it's at the top, like so. Plug these bits in here, like that. Do the same on the other side, like that. Bring the shoulders all the way up. Same on the other side. All the way up. Like that. You can kind of twist them around his knee his, his arms. Now you've got him in robot mode. Obviously you can hold his in his hand there. I think you're supposed to move these bits around or in his uh, robot mode I think. Uh, but I always kind of leave them down by the side there. So entirely up to you. I, I, um, I always prefer to have them like that. So they look like a couple of little blasters on the side there as well. So you can have them like that. The head moves from side to side, so you've got some 
a good uh, detail on, on the head there. Pretty cool head sculpt. You've got the silver detailing in there. Uh, there isn't light piping, but the the eyes have been done really nice. Yeah, so you can move that from side to side here. The arms can go all the way around. You've got uh, his hand here, which is on a ball joint here. You can move that up and around. You've got a swivel at the waist as well. And let me just move this up a little bit. And then what you can do is you can move his leg all the way up and back. You've got a swivel kind of at the top of his leg, almost at his thigh. And then a bend at the knee there. Um, and that's really about it as far as um, articulation goes. Um, like I said, you've got all the combiner uh, ports and bits and pieces. So you've got the back there. Um, it's kind of hidden away, but he's got the ports there and he's got the the hands here as well. If you want to use them as a combiner um, for the... Um, you know, as a as a fist or as the um, as a limb as in his uh, leg type of thing. But yeah, I really like this figure. You know, considering I've got a, a couple of of this kind of mold already, um, I'm pretty pleased with him because uh, I've got I've got two of the swindle ones. So I've got the uh, Fall of the Cybertron and the Generation Two color, different colored one, and. Uh, I've got the Ruination one, which is uh, Road, Road Buster or Road Blast. I can't remember that. Uh, sorry, it was a bit late. Um, but yeah, I really like this guy. Um, you know, he's, if he wasn't in the subscription service, I probably wouldn't have picked him up. But he's a nice figure to be included in it. Um, I can't say, you know, he's not my favourite, but he's, he's really good. Uh, they've just, what they've done basically is they've made... The original toy just better they've put loads more uh, detail on it in terms of paint job and everything else like that and i think it's, they've done a really good job um to be honest with you um i'm looking forward to the other figures in the subscription service uh the main one i'm looking forward to is chrome dome um so hopefully he's going to be the next one but they don't tell you literally until they post them which one's going to be the next one uh, but yeah that's it really i just want to show you this guy because I've been meaning to review him. I got him a couple of weeks back and not really got around to reviewing him. I've also got a load of the um, Star Cats toys um, which were originally uh, designed by TFC and they sold to a company over in China. So I've got the Dino Combiners and the ones which are supposed to be they're, sorry excuse me they're very similar to uh, the Protector Bots so I've got those guys to, to review as well. I just need to get round to it. I've ordered a few repro labels, so ideally I want to get those on them and then review them and let you know what you think. But uh, that's it for this guy. Uh, this has been whatever you call him, Fistatron, Fistatron, I don't know. Let me know how you're supposed to pronounce it. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Bye.